So Dr. Umar has expressed his disdain for both The Little Mermaid and the Spider-Man movie Across the Spider-Verse or whatever it's called because it's a black Spider-Man and his love interest is a white girl. And it's Ariel, who's a black mermaid, and then her love interest is a white dude. And this is what he had to say about it. Spider-Man across the universe, and he's bunny hopping in the trailer I saw on YouTube. How the hell are you going to have a black superhero cartoon for our children? Black and boy. he's lusting and thirsting over the skim milk <gasps> in the trailer. This is insane. How are you going to have a cartoon bunny hopping <gasps> over the white girl in mm. the cartoon? Lord have mercy. And then what is it, Little Mermaid? They said Little Mermaid is swimming in the milk. <gasps> she is bunny hopping too. Jeez. Little Mermaid got a snow puppy. Insane, brothers and sisters. We can't even have a cartoon with black on black love. It's getting out of control. And what are your thoughts? Does Dr. Umar have a point? We'll start with you, Jess. What do you think? I think he got, I mean, he, no. No, he <laughs> no, I was trying to go there. You know, I was trying to, you know. See, but, I, I, no. I kind of, you know, the whole thing with these movies, with this mm. Spider-Man and mm. The Little Mermaid, all types of kids watch it. Yeah. It's not like, oh, yeah. only black kids watch it, or only my Spanish kids watch it, or only yeah. Asian kids watch it, or only white kids watch yeah. it. So I, I understand what these cartoon makers are trying to do, is they're trying to make it inclusive where there's so many different kids, there's so many different elements of people in these cartoons. That's there's one black reason kids, that... There's white kids, there's Asian kids, there's Spanish kids, you know what yeah. I mean? No, so he's making a point where they're trying to say it's a money thing. All, all different kids watch this, so they're just trying to be all inclusive. But there's so many movies where that race lines up with the love interest as the same race. Snow White, you got Aladdin, who both line up as the same love interest. Hercules, both same. Cinderella, both the same. Tarzan, both the same, even though he was a, a man in the jungle. Frozen, both the same. Even Shrek, they made sure that both of them were green. You understand what I'm saying? And kids understand that. It's not something that's hard to understand. Green man, green woman. Easy. That's why the Little Mermaid blew me just a little bit. Okay. I don't want to give too much of the movie away. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's your cousin, honey. Watch it. Holly, the, Ariel's daddy is white. In the mm. movie. That's a little confusing. And she got mad sisters, mm -hmm. and they all different colors. Oh so no. So the only thing I could think about was they all fish. Yeah. So when you have a colony of fish, colony of fish be all types of different colors. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. That's mm -hmm. that's the only thing. I was like. Like, don't be just throwing diversity but, in it for the sake of diversity. But, I mean, yeah. it makes sense. But yeah. also, th like, this this is Damn. for kids. I don't think a kid looked at it like this and say, Mommy, why is Ariel, why is Ariel yeah, black? And, Daddy, why? and Charlamagne said in another clip, why don't they make them all from the Caribbean? The lobster from the Caribbean, he Jamaican, right? But that's too much like right. They ain't gonna do that, right? So my thing is, when they throwing all this different diversity at you just because, you like, oh, I don't think the kids are gonna notice. But then, if they throw you a black father and a black mother and then a black child you think the kids are gonna be like hey what's wrong with this why are you giving me black black and black right but you don't think the kids are gonna notice when they're like oh i got a white dad a black mother and a, a multi-racial colored family my sister is mountain dew green you don't think they're gonna notice then that's crazy to me, man. My, my young daughters be looking for that kind of stuff. My young daughter. Your father is. That is, I mean, that that is, you know, that is true. That is, that is a fact. That's the truth. Is a my, yep. young, my young daughters be wanting to know where the, where the brown skin at, where the black women at. They be wanting they to know. And they make it fun of this like it's something that all black daughters don't need to know. I applaud Charlemagne for teaching his black daughters to look for this in every movie that they see. Where are the black people? Why aren't. If there's a black parent here, why why does the daughter look black? I applaud Charlemagne for teaching his daughters the basics of looking for black folk in what is supposed to be our black films. You tell us it's our black film because you put a black lead in it, but then everybody that disperses from them isn't black. Like what? And then all these social media platforms want to promote black love, black excellence, and all of this stuff. But then when we see it play out in real life in these movies that y'all want to portray us in... Our partners ain't black. So where's the black excellence in that? Why can't we see us with us? But then when y'all, you know, you put it in Spider-Man and claim it's innocent. But, and then you have black folk defend it. Because my man is the lead in Spider-Man. But I'm just saying, he didn't think to think that this was a problem. This is what he had to say about it. Oh, this is a real thing. What you think we can make up stuff? I totally thought you was making this up. No. Hey, yo, no. I actually love that, though. I, I totally thought you was making I, I thought we was past this. 
How you thought we was past this when just last year somebody kneeled on George Floyd's neck? And just after that, something else happened that was racial. And just after that, something else happened that was racial. How we passed it? When did we get past it? You know what I can confirm? Mm -hmm. I can confirm that this story is about why we wear that, wear that mask, mm -hmm. you know? And it's mm -hmm. bigger than just the spy. You can look at it as a... As a you can look at it as like Spider-Man, but I relate everything to my reality, you know. Yeah. Um, that mask for me could be basketball, it could be acting, yeah. it could be, you know, uh, having your own radio show mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Okay, so that's your reality. What is the reality of the guy that's in the hood? Is it burglary? Is it getting robbed? Is it getting shot? Is it getting, you know what I'm saying, getting punched in the face? Is it getting... Get, your money took as you go to the bus stop to get to school. What is their reality? That's what I'm just saying. You could have a different reality from them. So these characters are looking past that mask. You know, Gwen and Miles are representing something that's bigger. It's, they're representing humanity. You, their specific story is about spiders and, and their superhero lives and whatever. But right. in this film, we get to see, like, it's bigger than that. You know? Okay, I'm trying to ride with you, but... Okay, it's bigger than that. But why does it have to be bigger than what he is? You talking about spiders, but he, at the, his core, is a black man. So why does the story have to be bigger than a black man loving a black woman? Why can't that be a storyline instead of him loving a white woman? I'm just saying, I'm just asking the question. I mean, how many Spider-Man movies before this that we've seen a white Spider-Man loving a white woman? All of them. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's hard to really... Like, I know because I've walked the black experience where Dr. Umar is coming from and the key, right. key about it amongst us or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, brother, you, I mean, look how this is unity. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the world that right. we live in, the world that we walk in, especially in New York, it's mm -hmm. not just black. It's not just white. Mm -hmm. It's not just Asian. It's a mixing pot. And that's why this movie is special. That's why the kids are going to go watch it. Yeah. Because, because it's about... It's about writing your own story. It's yeah. not about somebody telling you, you know, how your story is supposed to go and what's acceptable. Like, And with that being said, there's nothing wrong with a black man living out his fantasy and dating a white woman. But what about all the millions of black men who want to date black women? You didn't think to ask that question to the producers of the movie here? Like, why are you trying to make me live a different life than what I see for myself because I see me with a black woman and I know a lot of other black men see themselves the same way so why would you try to alter that I'm just asking the question live your life like that mm -hmm. mind Absolutely. your business mm -hmm. you know what okay. I'm saying what you look like telling people not to go watch a movie about about loving yourself mm -hmm. and loving those that love you so you're asking why we would tell our people not to go watch a movie about loving ourselves, but yet that movie shows us as black folk loving a race that is different than ours. And you want to call that us loving ourselves? What did you see what you just said there? I'm just going to add because I don't I don't know if you heard yourself as you said it. You know what I'm saying? And, and having a future and, and being and then intentional. And Spider and then it's Spider-Man. Like, you know? look at where we at right now. Right. Like, let's talk. Listen, we can't talk about inclusion and diversity and, and, and progress and then get mad when we get it. Uh, yes, we can. Because, you know, inclusion and, and progress was blackface at one point. Right. When they had us shucking and jiving and yes, a boss and all of that. that. That was inclusion and progress at one point. Yeah. And I would be mad at that right now. And you would be mad at that if they asked you to do that right now. Come on, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yo, let's talk about if we want, you know, some beautiful black love story animations mm -hmm. and etc. Cool. That this movie allows that to happen. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I could go make something else. Dr. Umar can write something. You know, yeah. what, what do you... <laughs> that would be fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's you. talk about original IP. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. where diversity is going. That's where inclusivity is going. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, we're, we're I'm playing Spider-Man. Like, how yeah. dare you? <laughs> and that's... How, how dare he? Uh, listen, what we asking is, brother, how dare you? How dare you take this role and then knowing that they're going to put the black Spider-Man with the white girl? And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, how dare you not ask the question at least to say, hey, y'all didn't think to put a black girl in that role? How dare you not ask that question? 
I ain't saying they got to act on it. I ain't saying they got to change the whole movie on it. But how dare you as a black man, knowing how important that is for our black daughters to see black love, how dare you not ask that question? And then question us when we ask that question. They put Aladdin with Jasmine. They put Shrek with Fiona in a world where green people don't exist. Come on, man. Talk to me. And yet we can't see a black man with a black woman. How dare you not ask that question, brother? That's all Dr. Umar is saying. And I'm not trying to get over preachy about it, but I'm saying, how could you not see that as a point of a topic to make to them, of something to ask of them, to say, hey, I, I've got a name. Why, you know, why did you not do this? And if you didn't, you should be asking yourself them questions. This is your boy P. Camp. Tell me what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy, man.